Well, great. I've got a week off work and it's raining, so just a quick look round the back of the house for what's sowing and the growing and the pricking and the planting. And I'll have a moan about those ash trees at the end. Okay then, so we start off with some uh, long blanched leeks. Desperately need to be potted up. They're in deep root trainers at the moment, so not too bad. Um, giant onions, 16 of those. I got five potted up. Uh, six inch pots, clover multi-purpose compost, um, onion, shallot and garlic fertiliser. Number, what's that, 48, number 48. Trying um, garlic chives for the first time this year. And the uh, number four is exhibition onions. Number one, tough ball onions, all potted on from the Agriland root trainer. Uh, number 47 there, the nine module tray, is a gretty uh, salt wort, uh, sort of herby thing. Apparently it is the thing that Italian chefs are fighting over. So if you know any fighting Italian chefs, then tell them to give me a shout, because I'll have some for them later in the year. And on the right there is the sunflower challenge. Uh, thanks to Erica's little Welsh garden, I'm trying yak on for the first time this year. A little bit of slug damage, so I'm using uh, bird friendly slug pellets there. Early Brussels Maximus coming on nicely in peat pots. I had to write on these because um, the, the sticky labels don't stick on. Here's the rest of the onions in the sort of deep root uh, module thingy. Uh, exhibition and Vento. Need to get them potted on soon as well. Uh, back up to the little poly greenhouse thingy there. Um, three lots of summer squash, delicates, patty pan and sunburst. Far too many, I've got 18 there. I really need to get these onto a new allotment. On the left of these deep root trainers we've got uh, Parsnip Panorama, doing very well. But look at the broad bean masterpiece on the right. Deep root trainers with toilet rolls on top just to extend them a bit. Look at the slug damage, look at that, uh, the middle one at the front there. Almost eaten away with slugs. And into the cold frame with the uh, ash trees roots underneath it, LC onions, and in the little four cell module there we've got celery starburst. Some leeks, uh, leek stocky, wait, waiting to go on. And in these peat pots we've got cabbage red rosera. And under the cold frame in the raised bed i got some onion snowball going, love onions. Uh, in the little green quarter seed tray there, that's the rest of the long parsnips. I've had enough chitted, so I'll put the rest in compost, see what happens with those. And the uh, the rest that you can see there, a couple of carrots at the back. And the max yield from one seed spud. Nothing happening there just yet. More leek stocky and shallot matador waiting to be potted on. Lovely things, these Agriland root trainers. And here we have, uh, what have you got, aubergine patio blue and cucumber patio snacker. The sprouted, chitted long parsnips are doing very well in the modules there. And broad bean masterpiece, they're coming up nicely. And here's the three um, 30 litre tubs of overwintering potatoes. Been outside all the time, no cover whatsoever, apart from I put a little cooking pot on top of one of them when it was frosty. And here's Long Straggly Spurred, he's doing very well. Fingers crossed for you, mate. I've freed a bit of room up in the Vitapod, in the uh, the shed there. Got the tomatoes in, pricked them out, stuck them in. The uh, chilli, hot chillies that were in there are now in the front windowsill. And I've put a few more seeds in the Easy Plug system. Um, the Aubergine Patio Blue, 50, 51. Uh, patio Snacker Cucumber. And Stonor and Moneymaker Tomatoes in there. And no back garden video will be complete without the strawberry tower. 18 Christine early strawberry plants. Pump feeds a shaft. Shaft drips uh, loads of liquid and nutrients down on the uh, clay balls and coir, which feeds the one below it, which feeds the one below it, and feeds the one below it. Drips back to the reservoir. Great bit of kit. Almost there, guys. Bear with me. Anyway, following on from uh, William Coleman's Garden Allotment channel, he's got an issue with his cedar tree. <coughs> and it's his cedar tree, nobody else's. I've got an issue with neighbours' ash trees. <laughs> it's not an issue, really. There's more things in life to worry about. But I just wish they'd stopped scattering their bloody seeds everywhere. Everywhere. I walk them in the house, I walk them in the oh, they're in the pots. You may have seen through all the videos, all the snapshots today. They're everywhere. 
there's a root poking through I cut the root down it grows again um, what makes it worse these, these are bird droppings they weren't there when I moved in <laughs> yeah like I said there's bigger things to worry about in life for example what do I have for dessert tonight do I have the boiled fruit cake that comes second place at the local show or do I have apple pie which was unplaced mmm and finally, my prized daffodil volcanic rim has come into its own. Bit late now, mate. Two days after the show's finished. Well, there you are then. Just a quick mishmash of a tour, really. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs down, let me know why. Click the bell and you'll get updates as soon as I give you an update. And why not consider subscribing? 